بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما okay, the next thing as i said the ehrp is going to maintain uh, different tables like in that the first one is the neighbor table so neighbor table contains the information of your directly connected routers like in this example if you take uh, if you if you just assume this topology now the router a is having two neighbors that is router b and the router c so your directly connected routers we call them as neighbors similar way on the router e we have two neighbors here the router b and the router d and to verify this neighborship we can use a command called show ip hrp neighbors and again these neighbors will be advertising their own updates and all these updates will be incremental means whenever there is a change so first time they will send the complete routing information during the initial process and the next update will be sent only whenever there is a change and again this neighbor table is very important especially when you are doing some troubleshooting where we'll be tracking the neighbor status just to confirm whether the neighborship is there or not because if let's say if there is some route is not coming from this side if there is a problem and you are running the ehrp or the ospf protocols so the first thing you will track is the neighbor relationship so if the neighborship is up means most likely the ospf or the ehrp configurations are correct there might be some other issues so apart from the neighbor table it also maintains two other tables like we know the routing table uh, but again there is one more table called topology table similar to ospf database table here now the topology table is something like it contains the information about the list of all uh, now the list of best routes learned from each neighbor which means if you if you assume this is my topology and this is a specific network 50 dot network now to reach this 50 dot network maybe this router b have multiple routes so it can go from this route this is one route and this is second route and maybe there is one more route like this third route and again if you just go and calculate there will be plenty of routes you can figure out even they can also make one more route from this side you know like this there are plenty of routes just assume that uh, this router b to reach that particular 50 dot network there are it, it knows two routes there are two possible routes let's say just assume like that two possible routes and whereas from the router c let's assume there are three possible routes to reach 50 dot network and from the router d to reach that particular 50 dot network we do have four possible routes now now the router b c and d are the neighbors of router a let's say the router a now establishes the neighbor relationship with these routers which means now this 50 dot network information will be learned from b as well as c as well as d so even though they know multiple routes when they exchange they will be exchanging only the best routes so if you remember in the beginning we discussed the neighbors will exchange only the routing tables unlike ospf ospf exchange uh, all the routes some kind of database so it's not a link state protocol so the behavior here is different so even though this router may have two or three possible routes uh, inside the topology table but it will exchange only the routing tables so which means to reach this 50 dot network so i'm just pointing to only one network to understand better so b will exchange the best route whatever it is maybe this is the best route it will exchange this route you can go from this side and c will exchange its own best route and d will exchange its own best route so which means now the router a is going to learn to reach this 50 dot network i can go via b or via via c and via d so probably the three routes which i'm lear learning from my neighbors because these neighbors are using this particular routes to reach the same network so now the ehrp is going to collect this information and it's going to keep it in the topology table and that's what the topology table is about so it contains the information about the best routes which are learned from each neighbor so which means now the router a is having information about to reach this 50 dot network there are three routes uh, it knows so is it going to use all the three routes out of these three it is going to compare these three the cost values whichever is the least let's say via b is the least so it's going to write down this in the routing table so this will be my best route. so i'm going to use any one i have to pick any one from this 
So I'm not going to calculate the complete uh, best routes from here to here. So I'm just relying on the neighbor best routes which are being exchanged. And if I have multiple neighbors sending the routes, then I'm going to pick anyone based on the least cost. And when I'm sending to my neighbor, I'm going to send only the best routes, not all the routes. Because now I know three routes, but I'm not going to exchange all the three. I'm going to pick anyone which will be in my routing table and I'm going to send this to my neighbor. So the routing table will contain the information about the best route. So best route to the destination. We can verify with show IP route or we can use show IP route EHRP command.